The tandem rotor configuration is the basic feature of the 192's design. Even before it entered service, the Type 192 had given impressive demonstrations of its capabilities. At the 1959 Farnborough Show, the helicopter was one of the stars of the flying display. First, it landed and disembarked 18 fully armed troops. While this was going on, the aircraft was prepared for carrying an underslung load. The Type 192 moved away to pick up a Bristol Ferranti Bloodhound surface-to-air guided missile and its trolley, a load of about two tons. The operation, from touchdown to moving off with the Bloodhound, was completed in 30 seconds. Bloodhound is set down gently and an automatic release speeds up disengagement of the load. With the permission of the Air Ministry, the 192 tackled an unusual crane operation on behalf of the Mullard Radio Astronomy Laboratory of the University of Cambridge. The load, a parabolic aerial for a radio telescope, weighed two tons and drag in forward flight was estimated to impose an additional load of about the same amount. The aerial was too large to be moved by road intact and too delicate to be dismantled and re-erected. Only a heavy-duty helicopter like the 192 could possibly have undertaken this peculiar transport job. In a large-scale army exercise on Salisbury Plain, the Type 192 gave convincing proof of its adaptability. It was first used as a personnel carrier, moving in units of the reserve. In one sortie, the aircraft carried a full load of passengers and freight. The troops travelled in the cabin, and the freight, medical supplies for a new casualty carrying station, was carried in a netted load underslung from the strong point. Finally, the Type 192 made several flights evacuating stretcher cases and walking wounded. The casualties were landed near an advanced surgical centre.
versatility is probably the greatest need in a military helicopter. And the Bristol Type 192 is one of the most versatile aircraft ever produced. <laughs>